Yes, Grant. Welcome to Living Life Fast, bro. And you come down in the Volkswagen Corrado VR6? Yeah, 2.9 VR6, mm -hmm. normal, as it is. And now it's a, a VRT, as people like to say. Right. A three litre VR6 turbo. Well, I've grown up, um, I suppose, with what you call V-dubbers, is that what it is? V-dubbers? Uh, yeah. Mark II 20 valve turbo swaps and yeah, R32 yeah. swaps. Like, all my mates are really into them. Was there a G60 version of this as well, supercharged? Yeah, the uh, 1.8. Supercharged. The only difference between them is the bonnet's raised on this one and on the G60, they sink in the other way. Okay. What are these in stock form horsepower wise? Uh, they're about 194 brake horsepower. Yeah. These are quick for what they are though, right? The the, the, the VR6 engine line. Yeah, you know? they go right. I think I think the, the most exciting thing about them tends to be the sound Yeah. and yeah. that you've got a V6 engine. But you've got some interesting uh, mods down to the car. Like for starters, I can see that interior looks amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's got a, a full red leather diamond stitch took me, took me a long time to get and you mentioned the owner who you bought it from you saying it was yeah so I, I bought it off a bloke who worked for Aston Martin as far as I'm aware he told me that a friend of his worked for Ferrari and had some old Ferrari leather that he could have yeah and uh, yeah, he posted it with Man, that man's got the Ferrari interior yeah <laughs> so they are front wheel drive from factory and a uh, horsepower what would you estimate the power to be right uh, now it's, it's certainly 300 over 300 probably about 100 more torques yeah you were then, saying it produces the more power. torque yeah yeah so you've not just bolted the turbo on you've actually built the engine so you? yeah so originally I bolted the turbo eBay way couldn't afford it at the time improved mm -hmm. um, and then yeah damaged it then fully forged it it's still got the T4 turbo housing on there, but now it's got Garrett internals. Um, it's got a 360 thrust bearing, Woosner pistons, uh, top ends built, bottom ends built, um, PEC rods, short let in, inlet manifold, T5 Volvo 380cc injectors, mm -hmm. has a more cool front mount oil cooler, and the full kit, braided pipes, hoses, uh, custom exhaust, CAE short shift. Yeah, I see um, that. Looks awesome. Is it a five speed or? It is a five speed. Five speed. Yeah. Love the steering wheel as well. So, sorry, yeah, the, the gearbox is built as well, right? It is, yeah, yeah. That was built by um, a chap called Ian Peck. Okay. Um, but most of the work was done by, by Vehicle Workshop. Mm -hmm. It was written upside there. Yeah, that's um, the company there, right? Yeah, top blokes they are. Yeah. Wouldn't have been able to do it, afford it, or build it without them, to yeah. be fair. And so, it's a car you've owned for how long, sorry? Um, I've owned it for about nine, ten years now. So. Wow. Yeah, it ain't going anywhere. Married to it. Yeah, married to it. <laughs> yeah. No, it looks awesome, man. Honestly, even now, guys, like this, for me, is just perfection. Like, check out the, the rear on it, man. That's what it's all about. And the wheels are perfect. What are the wheels, sorry, Grant? Uh, they're Schmidt TH lines. Um, okay. Uh, they come with the tyres. They're three-piece split rims. Um, they just come with the premium tyres, which are Kumo LA Sports. Right. The exhaust was handmade from front to back. The back box you can actually buy. I believe it's called a JTEX, JTEX mm -hmm. back box. Stock ECU? It has got a stock ECU. Uh, it's been customised, so it's actually got a chip in it. Um, uh, Stealth Racing were the ones who were able to set it up. I've never seen nothing like it the way yeah. they set it up. Right. Got an amplifier, headphones, wow. put a knock sensor yeah. on it. And you're estimating horsepower, what, probably over 300, maybe closer to 400 foot pounds? Uh, yeah, I would have liked to think so. Yeah. 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 And it's a uh, front wheel drive, That's stock right. shafts. That's you right. say they're known to kind of on aggressive acceleration snap. Yeah, on the standard ones they're known to snap. I know that people do use the uh, VR6 drive shafts on 180s, uh, a little bit stronger, but yeah, the, you're known to snap and go yeah. through them. Stance plus suspension, it rides the right. Brakes are off a Audi TT. Okay. So they're 318 mil, I believe. It's got yeah. uprated drill groove vented discs. Yeah. And uh, as I was saying to you uh, off camera, like you say it weighs around 1260 kilos. Yeah, so standard, I believe they're, they're about 1260. Honestly, once upon a time, 1260 kilos was so heavy. You've done everything, haven't you? Yeah. It's, it's just it's, nice and reliable. It's, it's fully poly -bushed. It's yeah, I've tried to do everything. Like, yeah, just fell in love with it and, and always wanted more. It's yeah. still not done. Well, what's the life attraction then? It depends on the weather. Depends <laughs> on the weather. Yeah, yeah. Cool. It will spin up from, you'll sit in second. If you power down, it will, it will spin up. Yeah. It will start to grab in third. But okay. It is weather reliant. Is it a quick spooling turbo? It's quite linear actually. It is, it, you can feel it all the way through. Right. Um, I believe it comes in about two and a half, three thousand. So it likes being up there in the revs, but. And it's about 9 psi, you say the turbo does? Possibly 10 psi. Mm. Go on, should we jump out? Yeah, Take a spin? Yeah, Let's brilliant. do it, man.
man, you know what? Being in here, um, feels like I'm at home, man. Like, as I say, man, all my mates, Volkswagen's Mark IIs, Mark threes. One thing I'm noticing straight away is there's, uh, I can't hear the engine. No. I mean, I suppose once you get on the throttle, but it's very quiet, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. Man, it's effortlessly pulling right now, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's got, it's got, it's, it's got, got like a huge amount of torque. Yeah, yeah, I can feel it, man. I mean, it's gliding off the throttle. Yeah, and you got that CA shifter, so um, yeah, so this all, what shortens all, the actual all throat, nice yeah. And clicky. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, it's not actually to its lowest setting. Yeah, uh, everything was set up so I don't kind of abuse it. Man, yeah, I can see your driver the way you're just <laughs> cruising through the car. That wheel's sick as well. Oh yeah, <laughs> sick. No way. <laughs> you got the screen man, you didn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> It sounds just like the G Charles the other day. They do sound a bit like G Charles. Yeah, exactly the same. Yeah. That actually moves, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. Man, she's nice, man. Wow. 1260 kilos, isn't it? Yeah. It yeah. picks up, man. It's Plus, tiny, though. Like, you feel yeah. like you're in a bit of a clown car. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the tyres. I've had mm -hmm. the RSN come out on me before, but. All right. <laughs> Mate, that is sick. And how long has it actually been built? Because you say, it, did it fail before? Did, it, did you lose uh, the engine off? Yeah, I, I, um, I believe I melted the rings and that before. I go out for a bit of spirited driving myself. That's what we call it, spirited driving. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. Today. Oh, so it's been like this for 5,000 miles now. When is it coming on? It's not really that yeah. great and gritty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it comes on like a Tap. Oh, that was Literally. me putting my foot down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's quite, you'll see, when, it, yeah. when, when you drive it, yeah. you'll, you'll see how... It's smooth, yeah, it feeds... It. Yeah, it, it feeds itself through nice. It's not so yeah. like it will just... Yeah. It's not, it don't just pop in. And... So you've owned it for nine, ten years, yeah. So what actually yeah, got you in... Yeah. Oh, watch out here. Watch out Yeah, yeah, we're all right. Uh, so what actually got you into the Corrado then? Have you owned any other Volkswagen? No, Vikings, no, or? I didn't. Yeah, I'm... A friend of mine, actually, when I was younger, he had a VR6. He had a pretty awesome one, a standard VR6. I always loved the sound of them, going out right. of the passenger seat, give yeah, me a yeah. chance to drive it. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I swapped it for an Escort RS Turbo, this. Oh, OK, Just nice. out of off chance, yeah. Oh, nice. Yes. One thing that I don't know if you mentioned is you've got upgraded uh, differentials, haven't you? Uh, yeah, so it's got um, a Quaif limited slip diff. It's yeah. also got a CG Motorsport clutch. Okay. Uh, it's a paddle clutch. Mm. It's quite heavy, not nice to sit in traffic, but yeah. it seems to hold all right. Mm. When you pull away, if you're pulling away slow, it's quite jerky. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maintenance-wise, like aside from obviously the engine failure you had before, any other little niggles you've had with the car over the years? Has it been, has it been good to you? Or has oh, it been it's been all right. It's been quite fun. Yeah, I'm a bit over the top with the servicing. Mm. I'll do it every thousand miles. Well, I said it like friends. I go down there every Saturday and, and look after it more than any other. Yeah. Might have used ears, I suppose. So you've actually been watching the channel as well for a little bit? Yeah, I, I enjoy watching it. Yeah, it's a bit of um, a bit, a bit of night time watching for me, to be honest with you. Same with my little brother, Harry. Love yeah. it. Yeah, watches you. loves it, yeah. Yes, yeah. Harry. Respect, brother. Oh, I love the wheel, man. I've never sat in this seat. <laughs> never sat in the back. Never sat in this seat. <laughs> Lovely position, the gear stick, isn't it? It's nice from right there, man. Yeah, yeah. It's like an armrest as well, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, you got to uh, smoothen out the clutch as you release yeah, it. Yeah. Jeez, man, it is really punchy, isn't it? It is, yeah. Mate, that turbo comes on quick, man. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Man, I like seeing that it's spoiler it's up. It's quite, quite constant. It stays nice and straight as well, doesn't it? I mean, it's got more than enough power to sort of. Um, be pulling around. I mean, look, for, look, you can do this one handed, guys. And it's nice to drive as well at the same time. Yeah. The turning's nice as well, there's not much delay. Sick. <laughs> I mean, it's the lightest amount of torque steer. It feels well sorted, you know? It don't feel crashy, does it? Done 5,000 miles on it. Yeah. I can see yeah. why, man. It drives like a normal car as well. It's yeah, not, yeah, yeah. It's, it's obviously, it's not. You've got a nice weight to the wheel, guys, as well, man. None of this lightweight electric stuff. Everyone's yeah. always calling it a Scirocco. They come up beside you in their new car, and it's, this is for ripping people off. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pretty stable on the braking as well. 
It's actually a really good car, man. Yeah, it's down, down to the people that put it oh, together yeah. with me. Bushes as well, people. you say you've done, didn't you? Yes, it's uh, rear axles, poly bush, and both front arms. Normally these older cars, you expect there to be a bit more movement. Jeez. Well, I suppose fuel's probably not going to be too bad, is it? What, as in, uh, well, the other day I was, I was driving it back and forth to work and uh, it was like 30 quid for 60 miles, so sometimes it ain't great. 30 pounds for 60 miles? Yeah, yeah. Serious? Yeah. Can't be that bad. Uh, yeah, it was, yeah. When you drive this, I don't know if you notice, when you brake, it makes the fuel gauge go happy and then uh, when oh, you does accelerate, it? it goes right down. Okay. Yeah, proper old stuff, yeah. <laughs> if we but, come on whilst turning. Lost quarter of a tank. Oh, right. <laughs> nah, that is a fucking sick sound, isn't it? When you throw it off of a roundabout, and yeah. you accelerate, yeah. the car bit changes tough. a bit, it throws right. you about a bit then. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, no, I can definitely see if you was no, really I, aggressive I, with I it. Be, I don't really... Nah, that is nice, isn't it? I don't really give it too much in the wet. Is that speedo correct as well? Yeah. I don't give it too much in the wet, so in the dry it does perform differently, but then almost it feels slow. And that's yeah. the point I was making that if you have really good tyres on your car, your car will feel slower because yeah. you're getting max traction, it just slows everything down. There is a bit of a problem with that. If I have too good of tyres on it, what I'll probably do is snap the drive front sharp. Yeah, and exactly. Because, because exactly. it's quite well worked. Yeah. Got to get a little used to that clutch, ain't ya? I mean, I keep sort of dumping it out too quick. Yeah, this is definitely um, like 300 plus, like without fail. Oh, I'm not just saying it, it drives really nice, man. And it, it, it feels fast, is what we was having a comp on the phone, right? Yeah. You know, you're like, oh, you've been out in powerful cars. I'm like, it don't matter about being a powerful car. The car just needs to feel fast. Yeah. Like the new cars where they're heavier, they're very stable, very well built. You lose a lot of the speed. Like you're saying, just as simple as putting good tires on a car, you lose the sense of speed, you know? Yeah. My actual advice for people is don't sort your car out to the max. Like, you know, once you put good suspension on, good brakes, you lose so much speed because of it. Like you want a car with character almost. You know, soft suspension, crappy brakes, and um, all of those combined actually make for a very fun experience. As soon as you start modding the hell out of doing every last best component, you lose the sense of speed. So, does it get attention? Like, uh, old school, isn't it? Like, yeah, people it's quite must... surprising. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, I've had people pull up to me in Bentleys, wind their windows down. That's what like, I'm oh, saying. I used to have one of them. <laughs> it's sick. Yeah, That's it's what it's about, it's man. Attention. I, I <laughs> yeah. can't say I've never been past another one. And uh, there was the VR6 Storm, right? Yeah, there was I a thought VR6 it was a Corrado, Storm. Yeah, yeah. So what was so, that all about? Was so that basically, the, the VR6 Storm is set up the same as this, but it comes with leather interior. Okay. This doesn't come, this comes with fabric seats. Right, so the um, Storm's like a premium yeah, version. That's something. right, yeah, and it's got heated leather, it's got air conditioning, it's... Yeah. Yeah, that's the only difference. Do you know, like, the VW Golf Highline? Yeah, it, oh, yeah, geez, yeah, it was so the Highline as well. It's almost it? a trim level. Some of these, they're going for... 15,000 with 150,000 miles on the top. Wow. Jeez, it spins, doesn't it? Guys, this is like... What the fuck? Mate, I'm, I'm so impressed with how composed it is, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, as in, like, when you brake and, you know, how do you travel in that speed? It's just... Yeah, it's yeah. inspiring confidence, isn't it? Yeah. Some older cars you get in, you're like, what's he going to do? Like... As I was saying, I'm from the passenger seat. <laughs> Brakes are lovely as well, honestly. That was all, all thanks to Carl, that was. Right, Grant, respect, brother. Thanks for letting me take the car for a drive. No, thanks for inviting um, me along. Absolutely love it, man. Polished off package you've got. Do you want to plug anybody? Yeah. Shout anybody out? Just vehicle workshop for everything they've done. Must appreciate it, lads. Any private links? No, it's my own company, Traditional Oak and Timber. Yeah. Good place to go, yeah. Cool. Well, guys, I'll leave all these links in the description. As always, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, anybody with an interesting car, give me a shout, man. We'll get it on the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.